In this video, we present Vitruvion, a generative model of parametric CAD sketches. Parametric CAD tools are the predominant way engineers specify physical structures, from bicycle pedals to airplanes to printed circuit boards. At an operational level, parametric CAD begins with the specification of two-dimensional geometric representations, referred to as sketches, which then form the foundation for 3D parts. A sketch consists of a collection of primitives, for example, line segments and circles, along with a set of constraints that relate these primitives to one another, such as parallelism, tangency, and coincidence. This relational specification allows edits to coherently propagate to other parts of the design. While this paradigm is powerful, it is often a challenging and tedious process. An engineer may execute similar sets of operations many dozens of times across designs. Learning to accurately infer and generate such patterns has the potential to mitigate the inefficiencies involved in repetitive manual design. Vitruvion synthesizes CAD sketches by autoregressively sampling geometric primitives with initial coordinates and constraints that reference back to the sampled primitives. Because samples from the model match the constraint graph representation used in standard CAD software, they may be imported, solved, and edited according to downstream design tasks. The overall sketch synthesis task is factorized as two independently trained models. In an unconditional setting, the primitive model consists of a decoder-only transformer, generating a sequence of primitive types and discretized coordinates. The constraint model, meanwhile, follows an encoder-decoder architecture, first encoding the primitives to a set of learned embeddings, then decoding a sequence of both constraint types and references to the involved primitives. We train the model on real-world designs from the Sketchgraphs dataset, which contains the ground truth set of primitives and constraints for a large collection of sketches from the CAD program Onshape. Following training, the model can straightforwardly produce unconditional samples, hallucinating new sketches which resemble manually designed ones. But we can also condition the model on an input context during both training and inference, corresponding to some task of interest. One context we experiment with are images of hand-drawn sketches. Engineers frequently begin a design by first scribbling it on paper or a tablet, prior to opening a CAD program. To apply Vitruvion to this setting, we require a perception module to first take as input a raster image. To this end, we employ a vision transformer, which first encodes a sequence of patches from the image, to which the primitive decoder can then cross-attend. We'd like the primitive detection to generalize to the imperfections of hand drawings. To enable this, we develop a simple noise model to simulate a hand-drawn appearance in the training images, based on both standard data augmentations on the primitive coordinates, such as random translations, as well as Gaussian process-based rendering for the lines and arcs. Here, we see a user first draw a few sketches by hand on a tablet. The primitive model attempts to infer the positions and identities of the depicted primitives. We also explore primer conditional synthesis, where a partial set of primitives are provided, and the model infers plausible additions until selecting a stop token. This type of conditioning may serve as the basis for an autocomplete application in a CAD program, inferring likely next steps. We can view constraint inference as yet another conditional task setting, where the model infers constraints after being handed a set of primitives. Because the constraint and primitive models are trained independently in our setup, we found it beneficial to inject noise into the primitive coordinates when training the constraint model. This allows the constraint model to generalize to both imperfect output by the primitive model, as well as hastily plotted primitives in CAD software. It can be informative to make targeted modifications to inputs and inspect the model's ability to perform various kinds of conditional reasoning. Here we have an input set of noisy primitives that must be constrained. In this first case, the model applies a set of reasonable constraints, attaching the four line segments to form a rectangle, as well as making each circle centered on one of the corners. Now we make a minor modification, placing an additional line segment here, below the original top line segment. What will the model do? Well, in this case, the model constrains this new lower line to be the top of the rectangle, but it still needs to do something reasonable with the original top, so instead, it sets it to be coincident with the circumference of the two top circles. See our paper for more details and examples. Thanks for watching.